Okay. Hey everybody, it's Monday and uh, we're here with Stephanie Black with Andorra Credit. And I love when Stephanie comes on because she's my credit guru and uh, we're both educators and we love to help everybody. So Stephanie is gonna talk today about your four tips for building your credit this year. And um, per the title, you know, get your act together-ish. <laughs> So Stephanie, I'm going to let you go and uh, share your tips and what they can do to help improve their score. And remember, call Stephanie if you need any help with credit directly. I'll have all her contact info in the below. Awesome. So I think it's just really important when the new year starts to just kind of get a handle on your finances just in general and just take a good look at your credit um, and how you're managing it. So like number one, I would say you just need to pay your bills on time. It sounds so simple and easy, right? But it's not always that simple, but you have to understand what a 30 day late will actually do to your credit. And so that you understand the importance of paying your bills on time, because one single 30 day late payment on your credit report is going to drop your credit score about a hundred points. So think about that when you're making just those minimum payments, it's fine to make your minimum payments if that's all you can do right now, but definitely make them on time. And the longer you pay your bills on time, the higher your credit score is going to be. Okay, second thing, um, if you're paying your bills on time, next thing you wanna really focus on is looking at your credit card balances, right? Look at those, that utilization ratio, that's what we call it in the credit world, um, utilization ratio. So that just means having your credit cards down as low as you can possibly get them. Um, 6% is actually the sweet spot. I got that straight from FICO's mouth. Um, that's the actual spot where you're going to get the highest possible credit score and the most points for your utilization ratio. Anything under 30%, I'm totally cool with. Keep it under that. But if you really want to maximize the score, 6% is the, the place to be. And it's actually will make your score higher than if you're at zero. Okay, so you want to really, and Karen, did you know that? You know, I didn't, but I wrote it down because I didn't know that I've always, you know, I knew under 30% was kind of key uh, for, yeah. you know, for us to boost scores and stuff like that. Uh, but 6%, I mean, I'd have to go back because I know a lot of people will pay them off monthly for points. So you're saying if we're working with a client to buy a house that really they should just calculate with 6% and leave that balance? Yeah. Yeah. Have that 6% because that's going to make your score as high as it can possibly be. Um, third, I would say every single year, it's really important. You know, we're in January. It's the new year. It's time to go look at your credit report. Because things can happen through the year that you're not even aware of. So what if you had a collection pop on there for a $10 medical bill? Happens all the time and drops people's scores, I mean, like 60 points. So it's a good idea to pull your credit reports. Um, go to annualcreditreport.com. You can get a free credit report. I think you can get one every single week right now. Due to the COVID, they've been letting you have a new refreshed report like every single week for quite some time. I think they're still doing that. Um, normally, you can get one once a year for free from annualcreditreport.com. This is the only place that you can actually get a free report. They will not ask for any type of card information. Um, do not buy the credit score. There's no point in it. It's not the same as what you're going to use for lending. Don't buy that. Just take the free report and look for errors. Look for anything on there that shouldn't be there. Look for anything that you may have paid off. Maybe you had an old collection or a charge off that you paid off and it's not showing a zero balance. Things like that. Those are errors and those actually hurt your credit score. Okay, so it's important that you take a look at least once a year, um, preferably twice a year to make sure you don't have any errors. Fourth um, is diversify your credit. Go make sure that you have the proper, you know, amount. You have at least two revolving accounts. You have at least one installment account. And it's always good, you know, to have like a mortgage as well, a mortgage account. It's good to have um, different types of credit accounts because you will get a higher score by doing that. Hmm. Well, that, that's like so simple, though. <laughs> 
Okay. So talk and about those are my four top tips for the new year. Yeah. So talk about so annualcreditreport.com. Now I know a lot of people say their banks give them reports or discover or credit karmas. Uh, what is the difference or are those just as good? Um, yeah, I think any credit report you get is fine. If you can get, just get a hold of a copy of a credit report. If you get a free one from your bank, it's fine. It's going to have the same information. Um, again, they may give you scores, um, scores that that's a whole other. That's a whole nother. Show, right. We'll do a whole other, a whole other thing on scores maybe next time. Um, but yeah, they're fine. Like they're going to have all the same information. Everybody says, oh, credit karma isn't, you know, accurate, but it is. It's absolutely accurate. It's just a different scoring model. Um, mm -hmm. But the actual credit report, if you look at everything on there, it's the same as what's on your regular report. They're just difficult, more difficult to read. And so I would suggest the annual report over credit karma. Well, and it's free. So if you just put it on your January schedule for every year, it's just a good it's just like doing your taxes and all the things reviewing our finances. It's just one of yeah. those you need to do. Um, but credit is everything because it saves us or costs us money if we don't take care of the credit. Like I tell people, don't worry about the scores. They're fluctuating as things are fluctuating on the report. Um, just it's, you said the word optimize. It's about optimizing your report to have the best score because you only need scores when you want to borrow money. <laughs> but right. When you have negative things on a report, it's a big hit and it takes a long time to recoup uh, even a minor 30 day late. So make sure, and I'm a really big about organizing your bills and money. I see that people are kind of messy when it comes to organizing bills. Um, so maybe go through it with a calendar and mark when you pay your bills and when you're getting paid and just make sure that's balanced, you know, so that you can pay those minimum payments and not forget so many things are online with billing that I think people are just forgetting or if they don't see the email or, you know, so if you automate that stuff, it'll make your credit so much better. But well, those are great tips. Thanks so much, Steph, for coming on. Again, she has her own company, Andorra Credit, and I'll have the link and everything. Um, she's your go-to girl. I mean, I've been calling Stephanie for 15, 20 years on questions and you know, because I hear people think they know what to do for their credit and they're not doing the right things. <laughs> they're just not. So stay off of uh, stay off of Google for advice. Call Stephanie <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, tell her you saw her on uh, Money Matters with uh, myself over at Fairway and uh, she'll take good care of you. So have a great week. Thanks again, Steph. And uh, anything else you want to share before we go? No, it was good seeing you though. It's good seeing you. So everybody have a great week. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. See you later.